difficult as a blind man. They're a football team. <laughs> well, yeah, they're you know they're good, and their their uh, their fans are loud, and it's a it's a can be a tough place to play, you know. So. Yeah. Did it ever get real loud at Michigan where Adrian's communication um, was an issue? And, and are you expecting different this week? Just well, that you, game? you know, uh, he didn't mention to that, that to me uh, when I was up in the booth in communication with him. I'm up in the booth, so I don't have a real sense of that. Uh, it didn't appear that there was any issues with that. Uh, I know when we played there, when I was at Northern Iowa, we didn't experience any issues w- with the noise. Um, now maybe the <laughs> the situation in Michigan was such just because it was kind of out of hand, so they weren't getting too raucous. But nevertheless, I haven't experienced any problems uh, at at Camp Randall, at least the first time I was there. What did you like about Adrian's game against Purdue, and what did you want to see maybe improve this? Uh, despite the fact we lost. Despite the fact, I mean, what did you like about some of the things he did, um, maybe compared to the Michigan and the interception? You didn't care for that. Um, he did some really good things, right? Uh, he'd be the first to tell you that uh, not good enough because we lost. But despite having said that, he did a nice job, um, I think, uh, with his eyeballs and his feet, making good decisions aside from the one. Um, so all of those pieces of the puzzle that we've been talking about since January are starting to take hold. Now, here's, here's the deal, okay? And this is what I told him. I said the challenge for a young guy like yourself is you feel like you have to live up to the reputation of, your, of that game, right? And then you start doing things that you don't necessarily need to do and all that sort of business, you know what I'm saying? Your ego takes over. I said, okay, so we're going to find out when we play Wisconsin this week, right? Just do your job just like you did last week. No more, no less. That's all we can ever ask of you. And then to find out was... You guys thought he played nice, I guess, and all that sort of business. Was this past game luck? We're going to find out. And he just has to build on that sort of uh, mindset every, every week. What's the challenge of going up against a Wisconsin defense? What do they do that's going to Well, they're so sound in what they do. It's a different style, obviously, um, than Michigan's um, in some ways. But they're sound of what they do. And their front seven is um, athletic and tough and big. Um, the other piece of the puzzle, as you guys well know, they have such a dynamic offense in terms of taking up the clock. So you're gonna, what are you going to get? You're going to get 60 snaps. You, gotta, you might get 57, somewhere thereabouts, right? So you have to ensure that you're taking advantage of all your snaps. And um, so... They complement each other really well. They don't make very many errors on defense. They're rare, if any. Um, and that makes sense in terms of how their team is built. He's now in his second month as, as a starter major college football. What progress have you seen from him? From who again? I'm sorry. From, from Adrian. Oh, yeah? Yeah. From from even just that Colorado game to, to last week, I mean, progress in practice, progress in games. I mean, what areas have, have you seen from him? The, 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 two, two parts to that. One is that when he gets to practice, to understand you can't have a mood. <laughs> you can't be happy. You can't be sad. You can't be whatever, pissed off or whatever it might be. Same thing with pregame. No moods. Come to practice, fired up, excited, and let's go. That's been awesome, right? Um, the other piece of the puzzle is he's learning how to practice like a champion, whatever the period is, whatever the tempo of the period is. Um, so if it's a walkthrough period or if it's no sweat Thursday, to ensure that despite the fact that it's walkthrough and it might be a slower pace, that every aspect and detail of what you're doing is perfection. He's learning how to do that. That's so, been that's been. Really good. So are you kind of because those things translate over to a game? Yeah. yeah. Are you saying that he's been a little bit more even keel in that regard? Then. Yeah, I, I think Unless that's ju- just a function of being around my goofy butt all the time, you know, because that's that's just so important, you know. Um, 
Yeah, there are times I don't want to, my head wants to pop off, but just relax, everything's fine, we'll be okay. Is that yeah. the mentality that's necessary to go into places like Ann Arbor and, and Madison and, and not have you know concerns or be up too high or too low given a situation? Yeah, I, I think that's just uh, a, a, a good thought process to be the quarterback in general. You know, you can't get too high, too low. When something negative happens, boom, move on, let's go with it, right? If something great happens, don't get too excited. Hey, you know, you throw, you throw two touchdown passes in the – in the in the first half, oh everything's great. no. Hey, the time to get fired up, time to get down on yourself is after the game, whatever it may take place. And it's the same thing at practice. It really is the same thing at practice, and so that keeps you at least on an even keel with regards to playing in tough places like Michigan, Ohio State, and Madison. And all that. So is that an inherent thing that he already sort of had? When he came here, or is that something that he's had to learn just in a quick amount? Of time? Yeah, no, I think, as you guys know, Adrian is 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 a, a pretty placid guy to begin with, right? But as a quarterback, he's a competitor, and he, you know, he has his moments when he's irritated and all that sort of stuff. But hey, let's get back to that other piece of your your personality and just let's just roll with it. Let's go. Yeah. Obviously, you hate when he throws picks. Yes. But after you go over in the film of his interception and you move on, does it seem like a step in forward every time he throws a Always. Pick? It does? Always. Uh, and that's just in having the short amount of time we've been together. I don't anticipate that's going to change after X amount of years. Uh, he takes the coaching really well, and then we move on from there. He understands why we put those interceptions or near misses in a particular category. We talk about it from there. The ones that he's thrown so far, has he understood what he did immediately <laughs> yeah. after? Well, he, after? he understood right when I talked to him at the game um, this past week. And I asked him, you know, where did you, where did you put your eyeballs? And he told me where he put them. And uh, he progressed. And then he regressed. He went back. Well, it's like playing Wheel of Fortune or something like that. Or uh, uh, what was that game show where you, you pick the door and there'd be prizes behind it? Well, there's no prize behind door number one. You pick that one. You go to door number two, and there's nothing behind that one. You go back to door number one. What are you, crazy? Well, that's essentially what he did, and that caused the problem. That, that's where the problem started. Yeah. And he understood that. I would just say he's done in the zone read game so far this year. He's uh, uh, done a, a pretty nice job with this. And particularly when he doesn't have the football, you know, his his uh, post handoff mechanics have gotten a, a boatload better, and, and uh, that, that's been really critical for him.